Casual Geographic dropped a new video, Satan's favorite birds. Let's see what he's talking about. Nani? Okay, just like that. That's what I say. Slick back. No, I'm on this is the bird? Slick back. Slick back. What bird is that? See this nest? You want to know what built this nest? You don't want to know what built this nest. You want to know what made these bones? You don't want to know what made these I don't. What the f is that? Is that real? This bird's a buck bee coded f me to my mental stability. The harpy equals a homicidal hippogriff with the jungle census on its hit list. And a big reason is harpies having the largest claws of any Herbie? bird. Not only do they have vice grip talons that could comfortably dap up a grizzly bear's paws, they say getting gripped by them is like getting caught in a Rottweiler's jaws. They're the national bird of Panama, but you finna be Panamiming once a Jurassic grip. reject takes your breath by crushing your windpipe. But by far the most out-of-pocket thing is what nature went ahead and did with their wings. Unlike most birds its size, harpy eagles have relatively short wings. I'm talking about if eagles were the NBA, this would be their build. But the short wings <laughs> just means this life unsubscription service can duck and weave through the dense jungle to catch a body. Which also means there are very few things alive in the Amazon that a hunting harpy can't pass. Y'all cannot tell me this bird don't look evil. This bird looks evil. It's a lot of evil animals out here. I'm gonna let y'all know. It's a lot of evil animals out here. And I would not be anywhere near this f***ing bird okay a herpy eagle what yeah nah i'm good on that which also means there are very few things alive in the amazon that a hunting harpy can't pack up from monkeys and sloths to armadillos snakes and porcupines to other predators like ocelots and foxes they'll also body other birds like parrots and they'll even murk other raptors like vultures but then what even is a raptor the answer might just surprise you. Tell Raptors me. Raptors are what most people might call birds of prey, which is okay. already a problem because there's plenty of other birds that'll have you praying. So the raptor title gets gatekept to the birds with all three. A sharp hooked beak, a Jurassic style pedicure in talons, and an OP sense of sight. Oh so my. without a hooked beak but webbed feet, the demonic garbage chute misses the cut. Chronic crash out the Canada goose doesn't sit at the raptor lunch table because if it did, it probably would have seen that coming. Oh. But the whole raptor thing's a pain in the prostate and it's because raptors, they're, they're basically cats that can fly. Raptors are low-key the same, where the name raptor doesn't describe a family or union, but like Black Panther, raptor is more like a description. But I'ma get to that. Now the other problem with raptors is that nature basically bamboozled them. Of course the ability to fly is broken, but it comes with hollow bones. Now okay. hollow bones aren't to keep the bird light enough for flight, it's more that pneumatic bones are filled with air and so give extra oxygen to fuel their flight. But it mm. also means a broken bone is a career ending injury for an avian, and as hunters, they're under risk of getting folded by their own prey. Whatever you want to call it, the bird of prey hunting strat is straight out of the pages of a mob boss's torture diary. And we can start with the secretary bird aka Jurassic Park in yoga pants, named secretary. after the fact that, like a secretary, they'll connect you to the big boss upstairs if you give them the chance that's a good ass bar hey that's a good bar yo what the how did he come up with that are these scripted or they just he just be talking and just be coming up with this stuff bro i'm surprised he's not a rapper like he be saying some crazy stuff y'all like a secretary they'll connect you to the big boss upstairs if you give them the chance they cancel prey by kicking them in the head until they flatline or just lie flat and their usual targets are snakes ah, the combo delivering that multiple out. kicks in a time it takes to blink and how disrespectfully accurate they are all adds up to a six-piece serpent assault where they spam a river dance on a snake's skull until it caves in leaving Yo. the snake out of order like a reptile dysfunction you gotta hand it to them that's pretty metal. Actually, you should do the opposite since the Kung Fu crane can apparently shatter the bones in a human hand. And it's not just snakes. Secretaries will go after things like cheetah cubs and baby gazelle. I think now is a good time to mention they can be an honest four feet tall, with a thigh gap no less. As you can see, they're liable to violate snakes I and I cut his legs standards. off. All while being one of the few birds with two pairs of wings, no Red Bull. This is a Sariyama. It's they all look the same. Bird, but the real family tree flex is they're the only living relatives of terror birds. Yes, those terror birds. Oh my. They might be less vertically gifted at less than two feet tall, but instead of kicking, Sariyamas rather body slam their prey to death. The dinosaur time forgot will grab prey and <laughs> slam them into the ground or against a rock repeatedly. They'll spam suplex as many times as it takes for the bones to break. And if you're too big for all that, they'll use the same sickle claw their prehistoric cousins used to hold down prey and disembowel it alive. So if you get targeted ah. by a Sariyama, you'll either get the Hulk to Loki treatment except from a travel-sized terror turkey, eviscerated and violated while pinned by a weaponized toenail, or just swallowed clean like a Vorophile's wet dream. What? What? What did he, what did he just say? <laughs> what did he just say out his mouth? Swallow a hole like a what wet dream? Huh?
We talking about? We talking about casual? So far, we have a curb stomping aggro bird and a mob boss build and terror bird final form. Mm. And we're just getting started. Oh my. This is a kite, and before you ask, this was named after the bird, not the other way around. A okay. kite is like the forgotten little brother of eagles and hawks, and like a kite, they catch bodies by hovering above the ground and waiting for movement so they can swoop down and snatch it. I believe kiting is the expression. They're pretty cool. They grief many of the insects that make life slightly less worth living. The 17 year cicada parade is basically their Super Bowl. Like the secretary, bird, they too will gather around grass fires, and any animal trying to run from the smoke gets ironically cooked. But Australian black kites take it a step Fine camping, by bro. carrying burning twigs and dropping them on patches of grass. An act of avian arson that got them another name, Firehawks. Apparently this is nothing That's new. That's kind of a cool name. Stealing brands from indigenous cooking fires and dropping them half a mile away. There have even been scientific records of them dropping bread into water to bait small fish. And if it wasn't for this clip, I probably wouldn't believe it. You'd think an aerial arsonist air dropping in front what yo what this is crazy i'm not gonna lie this is insane bro you think an aerial arsonist air dropping inferno in a country that has up to sixty thousand wildfires a year would immediately get blacklisted but no black kites are protected because once again of course a felon with wings is above the law they're also banned in boston but only because we all know boston can't stand the heat now i have a whole <laughs> video on owls so i'm not gonna talk too much about them but this is the start of what i was talking about because you'd normally expect a raptor to be related to other raptors. Instead, the owl's closest relative looks like a what is that? flashlight. Flashlight. A flashlight? Oh. Well, I can't say that. Owls are 100% the closest thing to cryptids with wings, and while they haven't murked people, allegedly, there's plenty of predators that do feed off unsuspecting humans, just like you. It's on smoke with them, the though. Predator of all. I'm not scared. If you knew some of the places your info is right now, your head would spin. Kind of like, wait for it. Yeah, there it is. That's what it looks like to get folded by a falcon. You see, falcons are cool, but they're weaker than eagles and hawks. So instead, they commit to the fastest hitting runs on Earth. Oh my god. The fastest. So falcons like the peregrine will start up high and dive. That's called the stoop. Chat, I would be like a falcon, triple digit but in bed. Hour. They'll ball up their feet like a fist. So yeah, they really do falcon punch their prey into past tense. Didn't even give them time to duck. Not only that, but falcons <laughs> also have a tomeo tooth made specifically to snap spinal cords and send prey to the Lord like Sunday service all while flying. The one-shot specialist has been known to snipe bald and golden eagles threatening their nest. Oh my there gosh. was one time a snowy owl murked a falcon fledgling, so the mother falcon went and life deprived the owl. There's a lot of ways falcons are built for speed, but the biggest flex is that they have the fastest processing speed of any animal alive. Besides me. To us, they see the world in slow motion. Falcons are dope, but because of them, we have to address the whole raptor thing again. Because instead of hawks, eagles, or any other bird of prey, the missile with wings is most related to parrots. So again, raptor is in a family name. Most of them aren't even closely related. You can't deny this psychopath's cute. The black cute five falconet is the smallest bird of prey in the weight class of a sparrow. Yet they also find a way to pack up other birds. The oh pygmy gosh. falcon is a nest pirate that often shacks up in the homes of weaver birds. Normally it's a good gig with the pygmies clearing out snakes and lizards. But sometimes they'll switch up and kill their weaver bird roommates. So there's that. Why? Why? A lot of like animals kill each other. Like I it's crazy, bro. Y'all got territorial issues. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like sharing space. You got to relax sometimes, you know? Share some space. They couldn't be us. That's why they're animals. <laughs> bro, imagine imagine I get a roommate. I just murk them just because. Like, that's evil, bro. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll be Jeffrey Dahmer, huh? But there's another falcon that might just be the biggest bird off of all. And it might also be the most underrated. Next to bat is... The Kara Kara. The Kara Kara is a that. black Air Force parrot. Unlike wow. every other falcon, they'd rather handle business on the ground. They live on honey badger timings and still pull up to a carcass and bully bigger vultures out the way. The crested Kara Kara is a special kind of bully. Club, they'll straight up mob other birds like pelicans and press them into vomiting their lunch so they can have it. Striated Kara Karas and a falcon is so a wise level threat to minor safety. You know, raptor comes from the Latin word to seize or take by force. That's what this avian amber alert lives by. Kara Karas will also link up with each other and form gangs and have honest to God turf wars. Even back in in the day they were on Darwin's radar. In 1830, he mentioned how curious they were, but also how annoying it was to live around a bird that'll steal anything that isn't nailed down. He just this did it just because. delinquent of a bird is low-key the gifted student of the raptor class, and he's even smart enough to solve puzzles for fun. But they just, they just assholes. They just little assholes with wings, huh? They just little assholes, huh? That's what it's seeming like. They just be doing shit just because they can. Man, let me turn into a bird one day. Don't do that. If I get reincarnated, God, please don't turn me to a bird. I don't want to have eggs and shit. I don't, I don't want that. That doesn't seem too fair. <laughs> that doesn't seem too fair for me. You know what I'm saying? 
I don't know how the afterlife works. I do not want to turn into a bird, chat. Let's say I become a domesticated bird and my owner do some weird shit to me. You know what I'm saying? Or like, I got to watch my owner have sex every night. And what if he like got some weak strokes and I, I'm conscious, I'm a conscious bird. And I just be over there like flapping my wings while he's like getting fucked or something. I don't want to do that. What the fuck do I be talking about, bro? <laughs> what? Yo, what is this conversation? It's an overall underrated menace of a dinosaur, but also a hyper-intelligent, talented opportunist. Actually, I take that back. Vultures might be the most underrated. People assume something with the feeding habits of a casket is a pushover, and they do get their cookies taken by other raptors. But vultures very much can be about that life, too. Especially since black vultures often won't wait for an animal to expire. They'll put weak, sick, or young animals on a shirt. Some farmers know all too well. Sometimes they'll wait for a cow to give birth just to jump the newborn and return to sender. Sometimes oh my they'll gosh. wait and they'll move on a cow in labor and act like the world's most malicious midwives. Getting violent by vultures means eyes gouged out, tongue torn off, and they'll even break through the back door. Basically, the booty warrior of birds, but unlike boondocks, this one's protected by law. From a surgical psychopath to a scavenger scavenger. Once in a while, they'll go after the living, sometimes in the form of air dropping a tortoise hundreds of feet to Just feed on the inside of like a pinata. Like you know, mountain climbers were so spiritually disturbed by the beauty, they called it the bird of Satan. That shit just did the goat goat to a bone, chat. Yo, these birds are crazy, man. Just goat goking like that. Bro, so that's why I couldn't be a bird, man. There's so many reasons why I couldn't be a bird. You gotta eat like that. You ain't got no hands. You just straight up gulking on shit. You know what I'm saying? Just deep throating on your food, bro. That's not a fun time. What if I like choke on? You know what I'm saying? What if I choke, bro? How, how do, if a bird chokes, what happens? Who's saving them? Because other birds, they don't have, they can't give you. <laughs> CPR <laughs> Other birds can't help you bro What's that shit called? The Heimlich? Other birds can't give you the Heimlich remover bro They can't give you CPR If a bird end up choking they're done They're gone bro To be fair they have a square ring around their eyes That fills with blood when stressed It makes their eyes turn bloodshot when running a fade The Grim Reaper's war king with a whole showering gun activated I'm good bro That is demonic character design Also a bearded vulture allegedly marked a man with a turtle shell to the head Like Mario Kart Which sounds fake but keep in mind There's a woman walking around with scars from breaking a porcupine's fall RNG can be a real ass All oh, that and you still can't show me a bird with the harpy eagles aura It's through a porcupine at him claws that could probably crush your skull Which is why harpy eagles have a prey list of over 116 species and that includes putting other raptors like Sariyamas and vultures on shirts. But don't think for one second nature came out with this and stopped there. The African crowned eagle is basically the harpy of the motherland. Same survival revoking claws and same short wings to make it a menace to monkey kind. And they're the only raptor to allegedly see people as prey with reports of human child remains Stop. in nests and the infamous tongue child believed to have been packed up by an African crown. Stop Honestly, it. any continent outside of Paris Bro, see, now we're getting hunted by birds. Oh, no, we should have never took their trees away to build these roads and shit, man. Man, why we take their roads away, man? Yo, birds, I know y'all smart and shit. If y'all seeing this, I don't want no smoke, bro. I will, like, literally become a bird person. My whole house will be filled with birds as long as we sign, like, a contract. It could be under NDA, it don't matter, but we can sign that contract. Y'all don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with y'all. I'm not cutting down y'all forests and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's these other. Hey, go take it up with them, not me. I'm a, I love birds now. Honestly, any continent outside of Penguinland has at least one of these eagles. Australian wedgetails go after kangaroos and dingoes, and their territory will have to fade a thousand dollar drone on sight. There was one time a wedgie fought a helicopter and won, past sensing a pilot in the process. R.I.P. The North one? American golden eagle against a helicopter? In the 400s. But really, their claim to fame is how they'll give goats a first class flight to the gulag with no return trip. I'm sorry, this is so disrespectful. Look at this animation. He gave him an NPC death, gave him nothing but time to reflect. There's the Philippine <laughs> Eagle, which honestly mogs the f out of everyone for no reason. But there might not be a bigger flex than the Stellar Sea Eagle. You know, if this wasn't on camera, nobody'd ever believe you. It's one of the heaviest eagles on uh. Earth with an eight foot wingspan. It's an oppressive force in Featherface that's apparently been seen carting off seals. Clearly, the meteor told them to take a sick day, because, dog, you're not telling me that's not a dinosaur. And low key, <laughs> they might go the same way. For all the harpy hate I was talking, there's no recorded case of a harpy eagle killing or even attacking. Attacking a human. In fact, it's them not like being no. afraid of humans that my can get them My bad for making fun of y'all names. Y'all not herpy eagles no more. Like them aren't endangered. They're at least in danger of being endangered. 
which is why you got places like the Raptor Trust in Millington, New Jersey, looking after all kinds of birds from Ollie the Kestrel to Virgil the Turkey Vulture. They got couples too, like Mariah and Thor the Golden Eagles. They're mad cute together. And of course, the symbol of America, they Colonel and Uno. Uno because of the whole one wing thing. And even though they're technically not raptors, I even met Ray the Raven. You know it's crazy? He's in a cage, and he's in a relationship with another wild raven. Like, he'll even sneak food between the bars of his cage for her. You know what's crazy? His girl has a whole nother family in the wild. I usually don't rock with home records, but I'm rocking with Ray. But like I said, my hey, favorite were definitely the owls, especially this barred owl named Sonny. I think he liked me. Although the vultures- Oh, you was there. No that was you. He'll literally walk up and follow you around like a puppy. Oh, this isn't sponsored, by the way. I just had a good time and wanted to shout them out. So if you're ever in the area, the Raptor Trust in Millington, New Jersey, 100% recommend it. But that's going to do Why you invite me? Drink water. Why he didn't invite me, bro? He gonna go to a nice little trip and not invite me? That's crazy bro yo don't be yo real for real like casual like you wanna invite me new jersey to see some birds i thought we was cool man i thought we was cool